Hey guys, welcome to another deck profile from Magali and Chill. This time we have Toby Gaffney. He is playing what? Book of Dark. Book of Dark. Um, lots and lots of reading. <laughs> lots of reading. And uh, so, he, how did you do in your last locals? I heard you did pretty well actually. <laughs> I went 4-0. 4-0. And what did you, did you face anything interesting? Uh, Fox for my last match. Uh, first was Lumia. Second was Will of Zero of Hope. <laughs> and then the other one was... Oh no, it was only three. So, yeah, but you went undefeated three. anyways, yeah. right? Yeah. So yeah, no, apparently Black Book is also pretty good? Or, I don't know, it's fast, right? Well, mm -hmm. your version is, at least. Well anyways, uh, let's jump in and see what you got going. Alright, so we have the Book, Book of Dark. So what's it do exactly? Uh, you can play any color for Will of Despair Resonators. And it uh, energizes for black. And it energizes for black, correct. And while you're playing Book of Dark or Book of Light, for Book of Dark you can only use Will of Despair. You cannot use Will of Hope in your deck. And Book of Light you cannot play Will of Despair in your deck, but you can only play Will of Hopes. Correct. Alright, and the, f the back side, what the flip side, you pay X and then you flip it. And then whatever you paid, you get to take from your outside the game and put it into play. So either your remove from play pile or your extra deck. Okay, so what did right. you play for your main deck? I just played these. Yeah, but for your main <laughs> deck, what did you play? <laughs> for the main deck, I hate this. <laughs> I played one Makage. One Makage, alright. And the reason why I played it is because it's quick cast and its ability to get plus one plus one counters is incredible. Okay. I played one, the Makage Sisters. Okay. And that was just to deal with mana dorks. I could gain life, ping them for 200. Stuff like that. Played two Red Riding Hoods. When five, seven stones are in, she's swiftness, precision, first strike. So this is not a white or a dark. Or black, kind of. Well, what colors are you playing? Because you have to hard cast that. You can't cast that. I'm just playing straight green. You're playing mono green. green. Mono green stones. Yes. I guess you'll have to show us later. All right, continue. <laughs> I'm playing two Arla just to deal with blockers and attackers. Mm-hmm. If it, people for those out there that don't know, you pay 200, and Arla decree uh, actually deals 200 damage for, for each 200, 200 that you pay to the target attacking or blocking resonator. Play for the little red fairy tail of air. She's really fast. Yeah, just turn her sideways. <laughs> <laughs> so it's gonna be a mono green. Okay. And play four of the Lars, the new guy. Turn him sideways as well. She comes in a play tap of dealing damage. <laughs> Does it do anything else with that? Uh, you can pay zero and you switch its attack and defense. Okay. So it's fast. Four Melgus. Oh my god. Again, you can pay 300 life for each 300 life played. paid. He gains 100 attack and first strike. Okay. Turning it sideways. Yep. Sideways, I like it. <laughs> Playing three <laughs> Sylvia, because I only have three. I need one more. <laughs> Help this man out. Help this man out, please. He needs to uh, kill people When faster. she attacks, you can target a J slash resonator and they can't block for the turn. Yeah. Alright, more damage. More sideways. Yep. That turned to a thousand damage. Uh, now for the spells and chants. I play one Heavenly Gust. Okay. Just in case for problematic additions. I play oh. two Soul Debts. What's that do? Uh, any creature that's casted in, I can just put it back on the bottom of the deck. How's that working for you? Pretty good. <laughs> you like it? Uh, no, nah, that makes sense. You just get your when you get really good when you guys out. Then when you have extra mana to spare or uh, will to spare, you just fuck that. Uh, you screw them over. Really good against Fox. Yeah. Uh, two rapid growth. How's that working for you? Really good. Yeah. <laughs> Again, just turn it sideways <laughs> and pump away. <laughs> so it's it's Prisia? No, it's uh, uh, you could say that it's sort of similar. Okay. Three seven wins. Cause why the hell not? So why wouldn't you play four? Ah, uh, three's good. You just, it's not cloggy? No. With three? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Best card in the deck. Final, <laughs> Final Breeze. breeze. <laughs> Combos so well with this card. True. That's yeah, not true. true. That makes sense. Four of all the wins. For when they dropped half five Arthur and you're like, nope. The one foil to, you know, stack it to the top. 
Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, we have our answer why he's been winning so many games. And another really good card. What's that do? Can you explain? <laughs> uh, you target a Resonator, it gives a 400-400, and then you can target a J slash Resonator and they do battle. The Beast Queen's counter... That's pretty good. So you deal damage, you gain, gain their attack, and then you just swing. Yep. You can basically, if you have a board, you can probably run over almost anything. Essentially. Especially with the rapid growth late game, you can just probably just... Get rid of any problematic card. Yeah, your, your little reds and everything else is just... Pseudo kill spell. Every, everything's just gonna die. So, you have, your stones are just what? Just, just mono green Just stones. all green? Just all green. Alright, so just all green. But it works. Yes. It, it absolutely works. What what are the stuff? What about and your then side? Just to bring it in the outside, it's not complete. I only have these three for now. So I why do you play Umer Tail? Uh, he can drop you down Fairy Tail Red, uh, any of the two drops that are in a deck, and any of the three drops, Melgus, Arla. And then what are the other two for? Uh, this one is just to bring stuff back, because with all the swinging I'm doing, if I'm playing a controlled deck, they just kill off my resonators and I can just bring this out for like two. Okay. And then this one, uh, this one essentially board wipes and then it's got swiftness and it swings at your opponent for eight. Oh. And it also deals eight That's like board. literally if you go into like late game, which yeah, you probably won't with this And I need stack, to clear I mean, the board. <laughs> no, it probably happens. Uh, anything else for your uh, side? Uh, that's it for now. <laughs> that was it for now? Yeah. I don't want to put those in because uh, I suck. Alright. <laughs> so... <laughs> So as you see, everyone's laughing because of how ridiculous this deck is. Everyone in this in this vicinity right now has gotten beat by this deck. How ridiculous Black Book can potentially be as an aggro deck. Uh, is there anything that you would change? Uh, as the time is, I just want to put one more Sylvia in. One more Sylvia? Yeah. Help Every this man out! <laughs> Everything. And I would put Makaji into so the outside game. Alright. So uh, if anyone's looking for a cheap aggro deck, again, the books are just the way to go. You got black book, you don't even have to play any black stones, just go green. All the Half the despair cards just have swiftness and just crazy destruction effects. effects. So, I mean, it seems like a pretty consistent way to go with a black book of anything. So I would like to thank you again for uh, showing us your deck profile. Uh, this is Regalia and Chill. Uh, stay tuned for some more uh, deck profiles matches and other video content coming up stay tuned and subscribe thank you